Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my March favorites video and I'm really excited to share the products that I've been loving with you guys these month because these month, this month, because I have a lot of new products that I don't think I've ever spoken about before, and I'm just so in love with all of these products. Like, the month of March was, like, the month of really good products, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it, because I have quite a few that I want to share with you. There might be one maybe one repeat in here but for the most part all of these I'm pretty sure are just completely new items that I have never spoken about before in a favorites video so we're just gonna go ahead and get right in so I'll go ahead and start off with makeup so the first product that I've been loving is my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and it has taken me forever and a day to get this because they do sell it at my CCO store and I just never really had the time to look and sit there and color match myself because the girls there aren't really good for like color matching you they're just there to be like this is Estee Lauder this is the MAC section you know so I mean they, they're not really trained on how to color match someone or like used to like the Estee Lauder numbers like how they number their products if that makes any sense like I asked her I was like oh I need like a yellow based one and so she was like oh I don't know so I just pretty much sat there for like a good 20 minutes and I finally found my perfect shade like this is the most perfect foundation I have ever come across I'm wearing it on my face right now it has been my holy grail foundation it has replaced I know you guys are going to be shocked, but it has replaced my Revlon Color Stay for the meantime. Um, after wearing this for almost a month, because I did get it in the beginning of March, I do have to say that it does not hold up as well as my Revlon Color Stay. And I do feel like, especially around my nose, where I am the most red and I do get the oiliest, it seems to break apart. But then again, I am wearing this foundation from like 9 o'clock in the morning to like 10 o'clock at night because there's days where I do wear it and I'm, I have to go to school all day long and then I'm at work all night long. So those are the only times. It's definitely not something when you have really oily skin that won't break up. And I've tried a variety of products underneath. Of course, I'm still working with it. I have a million different combinations I could use with this but for the most part it has really good coverage and it does last a while I just feel like it makes your skin look so healthy and it doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of foundation and I just really really like it and I've gotten so many compliments on my skin since I have been wearing it and I feel like it does work really well even if you do have dry skin because right now I am going through my retin-a regimen again like I'm starting to actually use it um not just like one night but like use it every single night and my skin is literally falling off my face like as gross as it sounds I look like a shedding lizard right now but this foundation along with this other magical concoction of products that I put on my face allow me to still look good not look like a shedding lizard and it's just it's just amazing so now that I spent like forever talking about this foundation I definitely think it's something you should check out if you do have hyperpigmentation uneven skin tone and you want a full coverage foundation that will last and I think this will work really good no matter what kind of skin you have because I have super oily skin yet because I am using my retin-a it is forced to be dry if that makes any sense even though it's still super oily like it just amazes me how my skin can literally be falling off my face but I'm still so oily so really good foundation it's definitely I think a holy girl foundation I cannot ha I cannot say enough good things about this foundation so really excited I got this even better that I found it at my CCO store because it was only $27 so not bad and for those of you wondering I'm in the shade 1W1 Bone 17. I don't know if that's only any help for you. Um, I did go to the Estee Lauder counter forever and a day ago and I had the lady do it there and like put my foundation on my face and I told her I was like I want a yellow based one and I picked out one that I like she goes oh no that would be way too white for you or too light um and so I was like no I really don't think so I'm pretty sure the one that you're putting on my face right now is going to be the wrong color so I go ahead and take it home she gives me a little sample like literally the next day it must have been like 10 shades lighter I mean darker than my skin tone like it was it was horrible and I was like why do I even listen to the lady I should have just got what I wanted to get so nonetheless I finally took the initiative to just color match myself and I did a really good job because I'm wearing it on my face right now um, there might be a slight difference because my chest I got 
slightly tanned a couple weeks ago and my chest looks kind of red but honestly if you look at my neck even though on camera I don't know if it's showing up correct it literally when you're in the sunlight is a perfect match moving on now the next product I have here is the pure minerals under control this is the oil regulating gel and I went ahead and picked this up in a set off of hope look because um, I really wanted a primer I think I might do a collective hope look haul I don't know uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in that and I'll go ahead and do because I've been buying a lot off of Hotlook recently. So, um, but nonetheless, I did get this off of Hotlook in a little sale and um, it was part of like an oil regulating like trio. Like it was this, a primer, and then a powder. Um, but I really like this stuff because it goes on first. Like this is the first thing I put on my face and it says that you need to put this on before you use like a serum or a moisturizer. I can put a moisturizer on like a light moisturizer I can put a light moisturizer on before this but I definitely can't put a serum like if it's an oil or anything like this this stuff does not work so it has to be a really light moisturizer if you definitely need moisture on your face because like like I said with my retin-a I need to have something on before this goes on um but yeah it's actually a really cool gel like gooey gel consistency it feels pretty thick but when you put it on your face it creates like this nice layer of I don't I, I suck at describing things, but I don't even know. It just feels really nice on your face. It feels slightly, like so slightly tacky. But I feel like that helps my foundation last longer. And it definitely does do a good job at keeping the oils at bay. So I really do like this. I will sometimes just use this as like my first layer slash primer. But other times if my pores look extra big that day or if I'm using a foundation that I know enhances my pores I'll still go ahead and use another primer on top of that but for the most part this alone is does wonders for your face and I really have been enjoying it next thing we have for the face is actually this Caudalie um, moisture recovery cream and I went ahead and got this in a set when I was in Canada um, it came in like a little trial size try it kind of set and it had a whole bunch of different things in there but I love this stuff if you want to feel luxurious like you're putting a spa on your face this moisturizer is it it just has like this really light powdery scent mixed with something else I can't even describe but let me tell you this moisturizes your face I only use this at night um, after I go ahead and I mix, I put my Retin-A on first and then I add this stuff and oh, just amazing and it definitely helps my face not hurt because my face is dry to the point where it's so cracked that it literally burns all the time but this stuff is so nice, it doesn't irritate my skin at all, it is just a really nice brand and I know Caudalie is um, one of the nicer like skincare brands so I definitely will probably be picking up the bigger size of this. Moving right along, here we have the Pixie Bronzer. I'm pretty sure I might have spoken about this in a video previously, a favorites video. Um, I did get this in an Ipsy bag one month, but this is just the perfect bronzer for super ghost people like myself. It looks so natural. There is no orange in this at all. So even though it might look like there is, there really isn't. Um, I love contouring with it. I love using it just to give my face some color and definition so it's not just a blase cast of foundation on my face and this is in the color um subtly sun touched <laughs> um i almost had a tongue twist through there but really great product next thing is something i have mentioned in a lot of videos and um recently because i am using it again and it is my retin-a micro and this is 0.04%. This is a prescription. You do have to ask your doctor for it if it's okay for you. Um, but this, honestly, when my face is just acting up and I am just beyond out of control with breaking out or just really uneven texture because that has been my main problem recently is breakouts and just uneven texture and I just feel like my skin is so dull and just blah so finally the other day I was like I'm tired of my face looking like this I can't even deal with it anymore so I decided to go ahead and use this again I kind of go through phases with my retin-a it's not something I continuously use just because my face will never get used to it and it just makes me peel so so incredibly bad like it's awful so um but recently I have been using it I applied it for three four days straight and then it just got to the point where my face was so irritated I couldn't do it anymore so I've given it a two-day break now that it's calmed down I'll probably go back to using it every other day so um I just needed to 
do it for four days straight just to really, you know, get the program kick-started here because I didn't have... I'm not patient, that's my problem, I'm not patient. So, um, yeah, but definitely has done miracles for my skin. Um, if you guys could see what it looked like before and what it looks like now, it is a great improvement. Maybe I'll do an updated foundation routine, um, especially with my new Estee Lauder foundation, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what my face looks like now. I mean, it does look the same, I think, compared to like other videos, uh, maybe a little bit better, but my face is always going to be a constant um, battle for me, so... But so far, the Retin-A does seem to be helping out a lot. And if you're looking to like get rid of hyperpigmentation and things like that, it's definitely not something that's going to happen in a month. It is a long-term um, cycle that you have to go through, and I just never can keep up with stuff like that. Guys, I have discovered another CCO store, and this CCO store is under the um, Lancome umbrella, while the other, the CCO store that I go to all the time, that's like five minutes away from me, is more like under the um, Estee Lauder umbrella of brands, so they have like MAC, Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, things like this, but this one has Lancome, YSL, all those things, so I recently popped in the other day, and I swear they knew I was coming, because they were having 45% off plus an additional 20. So I picked up a couple things, and I think I'll go ahead and post a haul video for you guys. Um, I'm not sure, but I think I will. I'm sure I will. Let's be real. Um, but I picked up, and I'm really excited they had this there, and the fact that it was 45% off was just amazing. But it is the Lancome, and this was the limited edition um, palette that came out, I think, last year for Valentine's Day, or I'm not even sure when, because Lancome is honestly a brand I never really pay attention to. Um, because it's just so expensive and it's not something I could really honestly ever afford. Like, a palette like this is $50 for five eyeshadows. It's crazy. But I scored this for, I think, $18. And it was limited edition. And can we just take a minute to appreciate how absolutely... Let me try not to drop everything here. How absolutely stunning these colors are. Oh my gosh, this is like a dream and an eyeshadow palette. It, these are just the most gorgeous shades. The only thing I don't really like about it is that there is only one matte shade and then these two shades right here are shimmery and I feel like they're kind of close to each other. But other than that, I have never felt such amazing, buttery, silky smooth eyeshadows in my whole entire life and Lancome is definitely a brand that I will be checking out next time I am at my CCO store but other than that I don't think I could ever pay $50 for a palette without like getting nauseous afterwards because I just can't spend drop $50 on this like this um but nonetheless packaging is absolutely adorable the quality is fantastic I wore it on my eyes the other day for school and that was the day where I had school and then work right after it lasted and all day long and no creasing no nothing the pigmentation was there just I can't even rave enough about this like I think I have a new addiction and it is Lancome eyeshadows so might have to make another stop to my CCO store um but in case you guys are wondering this is in um taupe craze however it was limited edition so I don't think it's something you can find now unless you're lucky enough to find it at your CCO store moving right along to I guess hair products um, I went ahead and when L'Oreal came out with this new hair care line, I was really intrigued. And the number one thing I really wanted to get was this Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. It says, 3 day sleek with 450 degree protection. Let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. I really like it. The claims on it are like amazing. Where does it say um, what it does? There's like a lot of claims on here. Okay, it says, our high-performance lightweight heat spray offers three-day sleek hair, 450-degree heat protection for an ideal sleek look. It's specially formulated to work with any heat styling tool. Their unique formula not only helps protect against heat damage, but it calms frizz, seals in shine, blocks humidity, and conditions for a sleek style that lasts three days. Hello, listen to those claims. Sleek style, shine, blocks humidity. I live in Florida, so that is the number one problem we have here. And this stuff definitely does that. It's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. And I think it's honestly under $4 or $5. Like, it's so inexpensive. And it's amazing. It smells great. Definitely does the job. My hair looks healthy. It looks shiny. It feels fantastic. I just... Holy Grail product if you need something for your hair and it's not going to break the bank. So must have. If you don't have it, you need to go out and get it right now. 
Then moving right along, I have the I just have the weirdest skin. Like my scalp is the driest scalp ever, but my hair gets so oily like within seconds. Like I kid you not, I get out of the shower, it's two hours later and my hair is oily. It's gross. So the other day I was at Ulta and I had a like little Batiste. I heard things, good things about this stuff. I had it in my little cart, but I was like, yeah, I kind of have other dry shampoos that I'm kind of like going through right now. None of which I really liked. None of which I felt even did a very good job at absorbing the oils. But then I went to TJ Maxx afterwards and they had it there for $5.99. And I was like, it is a sign from the heavens that I need to have this. And let me tell you, if you do not have this in your life, you need it in your life. Because it is the best dry shampoo hands down I have ever experienced. I could have the oiliest of oily hairs and this gets the job done. The only thing I'm going to check out next time is I know they make one for like that's tinted or for like darker hair because this does have quite the white cast and it does require a bit of working in to make it not look like you're a grandma. So um other than that, I love this scent. This one is in Floral and Flirty Blush. It smells really good. Kind of reminds me of when I was working at Michael Kors. I don't know why. It smells like a perfume he would make. So really nice smelling. Love it. I have nothing bad to say about it except that if you do have really dark hair, like if you have black hair, no way, Jose. Even my brown hair, you really have to work with it. But other than that, fantastic products. And if you are looking for a really good dry shampoo, go for that one. This one right here is Sinful Shine, and this is with Gel Tech. And so I was like, okay, gel tech, maybe it's going to be like a gel nail polish type dealio. Um, I didn't even know if you needed like a lamp, you know, like the little lights, the LED lights um, to use it. So I just got it, put it on my nails. I didn't use a base coat. I didn't use a top coat. And I'm a cashier, so I'm sitting there typing away, touching my little touch screen. And this stuff did not chip at all. This stuff lasted a solid week before I even had any problems. And chipping on my fingers is like... The hardest thing to you know not have happen and this stuff is amazing for $1.99 I can't complain this is a really awesome color the other reason why it's in here is because I really do love this color this is in al fresco and just a really pretty periwinkle color it looks really great against my pale skin so definitely something you should totally check out for $1.99 I think it even lasts longer than my OPIs my SEs my Zoyas all my expensive stuff so definitely check that out then moving right along, I got this one just because it's the brightest polish I own. It screams spring to me and it just makes me so happy when I see it. And it is this highlighter. I think this is just showing up like yellow on my camera, but this is highlighter, like a highlighter yellow. And this is in Glow Stick. This is by Orly. I have it on my nails right now. Love it. Such a pretty spring color. It's something so unique and I don't have anything like it. So I got it the other day at Ulta because I was like, I want it. Then, saving the best for last. This product has changed my life. I honestly was so skeptical of getting it because it has a pretty hefty price tag and I just thought that, you know, my little sponges that I use to wash my face with normally were doing a fine job. But the product I am talking about, that is a game changer. And if you have problematic skin and you've done everything you could possibly do except get a Clarisonic, you need a Clarisonic. This is my Clarisonic. This is the Mia 2. I went ahead and waited months and months to get it. And good thing I waited because when I got this one in particular, um, it was on sale for like 100 bucks at Sephora. And usually they do retail for $150. But honestly... I would still pay $150 for it just because this does such an incredible job at cleaning your face. There is literally like there's clean, there's a clean face and then there is Clarisonic clean. And my face, this is something I use every single day at night. I take my makeup off first with like a makeup remover or like a wipe or something. I take 95% of my makeup off and then I let this go to town on my face and my face feels renewed. It feels soft like I've never felt so soft in my life and I, I just don't even know how to explain it. Like there's not an ounce of anything in my pores. Like I just feel so clean and smooth and my skin just feels rejuvenated and plump. And I think it's because the reason why I might feel plump is because it like vibrates a little bit. 
and then you like rotate it in circles and it just really stimulates the skin which is great not to mention it's an excellent exfoliant um i use this all the time and even with my retin-a it does irritate my skin a little bit since my skin's already irritated but let me tell you this scrubs the dead skin off my face like nothing else and it's definitely an awesome awesome product if you don't have it and your skin is going crazy I definitely recommend it if you guys would like to see a full in-depth review on my Clarisonic then let me know in the comments below because that's totally something I would love to do for you guys like how I use it things like that um, but I use it every single day and on days where I'm too lazy to use my Clarisonic at night, even though it takes nine, like 60 seconds, I feel a huge difference in how gross my skin feels the next morning. So definitely something you should totally invest in if um, you just have been thinking about it or if your skin's just going crazy, definitely check out the Clarisonic. So I feel like I've been talking forever and a day. I'm sorry if this video is really long, but it's my monthly favorites, and I feel like I haven't done a favorites in a while. Did I do a February favorites? I don't even know. But I'm just really excited about all the products that I had in this month's favorites, so I just had to talk a lot about them. But nonetheless, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. This hair over here has been driving me crazy. Sorry if I've been touching it a lot. But um, nonetheless, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know in the comments below what products you have been loving in the month of March because I am always game for checking out new products and things like that. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to talk to you on my next video. Bye!